Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Aries. The first half of May. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please bring forward the best messages for Aries for the first half of May, 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. So let's get a little shuffle going on, see what's going on for you, my Aries. Aries. I do remember that the title for your for your video for the first through the thirtieth of I'm sorry the fifteenth to the thirtieth of April was uh, resistance is futile. So let's see if you've been able to potentially break through any of this. Yeah, one more shuffle for you, Aries, and then I'll cut the deck and we'll get into this. Okay, what have we got here for you, Aries? All right, so your overall energy for the 1st through the 15th of May is the Princess of Wands in reverse, or this is the Page of Wands in reverse. So, 
For some of you, there is resistance towards taking step in a new direction towards something that is passionate for you. Um, there is resistance to a new level of understanding even. There, there is a blockage or maybe there's a message. Maybe some of you are trying to send a message or want to receive a message, but you're in resistance to it in some way. Okay, let's get a little deeper here. We've got, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Seven of Swords and the Hanged Man. So there is some sort of, um, there may be a, a, a fresh start that you want or that someone else wants with you. Um, there is a new path that you want to embark on potentially um, that could lead you to a new physical reality, a new something new in your physical reality. But deception, past deception, is what's causing you to remain resistant to this. It's put you in a bit of a hanged man state, and it was when it wasn't until the hanged man state, uh, the hanged man card came out, excuse me, that I understood a little more about what this story was saying. You're in limbo right now. You are suspended. Some of you may be in in a self-imposed hanged man state because you are very aware of how your um, thoughts affect your reality. And so you're kind of isolating yourself right now because you don't feel like you're in the best place to really be interacting with anyone. And I understand that um, my Venus is in Aries. I tend to resonate with Aries quite a good amount. Um, and so, yeah, I'm already resonating with this. So I understand where you're coming from here. And if you do feel like, you know, you need to remain uh, isolated for some time to get your, your heart and your mind balanced... I would say that's a good thing to do. I don't want you to fear that you may lose this Ace of Pentacles. I don't feel like this is something you could lose, to be quite honest. And if you are isolating yourself because you're just trying to clean up your energetic field, the universe supports you in that, okay? But there have been some past hurts, some deception, um, lies, maybe cheating, um, mind games, you know, someone just not speaking the truth. You maybe not speaking the truth, Aries. You hiding something from someone. Um, this moon, the moon in this card is eclipsed. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that the moon? I think that would. be... Yeah. Or the moon could be eclipsing. I think the the moon is eclipsing the sun here in this, in this card. So yeah, the, I mean deception, lies, um, and this is something from the past. So this is what's. You know, you feel, on an energetic level, you feel this message wanting to come towards you. This brand new Ace of Pentacles, this new physical reality coming towards you. Manifesting, materializing in your world. But you're in resistance to it because of the past, okay? So let's get into your storyline here. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse with... The devil. All right, so this makes sense, guys. This really makes sense. You've been in a situation in the past where, um, now this could, the, the Ten of Pentacles could symbolize um, family, could also symbolize friends, it could also symbolize a business situation. Um, but it did not turn out well. It was manipulative. It was maybe even, it was even stagnant. There was devil energy that was affecting um, this Ten of Pentacles, or what you consider to be the Ten of Pentacles. And this is why you're weary of something coming towards you, or even you sending a message now, because of the interaction between what you thought was a Ten of Pentacles situation, maybe a relationship, a, a, um, a family, a home life, whatever, and there was there was there was interact the, the devil had its, his hands in all that situ in all of that which led to feelings of the seven of swords um you know but i mean so that's not really a resolution that's just telling you it sh if you dealt with something um you know whatever the 10 of pentacles in reverse symbolizes for you it was blocked. There was blockages there because of devil energy, okay? It was not necessarily that this was a bad situation. 
it was under the influence of the devil. It still could be under the influence of the devil, which may be why, like, this Seven of Swords doesn't necessarily have to be in the past. This could still be going on, and you are aware of it on some, in some way, either energetically or consciously. And so that's causing you to be like, no, this is not a good situation for me. I don't want to be here. I'm not trying to fuck with this devil energy anymore, okay? That's for some of you. For others of you, I'm feeling like for most of you, this is a past situation. This is the situation in the past was affected by devil energy, all right? Moving forward, we have, good, the five of swords in reverse. And especially coming up with Aries, I really like seeing that because Aries can really embody this five of swords energy sometimes. Um, and it's really detrimental for everyone involved. But here it's reverse. So that means there's a blockage to it. Um, it wanted to just lay, literally wanted to lay down sideways. So for some of you, there's a blockage to it. For some, for others of you, uh, you might be feeling like you want to take up this fight. And the Empress. All right. So um, if we're talking about love here, Aries, you or someone else is putting down their sword, is stopping this fight, is stopping this ego battle, this one-up situation, this I'm going to get the better of you because I feel like I can. That's coming to an end because this, whoever, whoever, either if this, this, this now this does speak to the divine feminine for me, um, if you're in a twin flame soulmate situation, um, now Aries, this could be you or this could be the other person we're talking about here that's involved, but they're putting down this sword. They're putting down this ego battle because they really love you. <laughs> like, you're everything to them. That's just, gosh, that makes me feel so, like that, the energy coming from these two cards right here is like, oh, it's so much loving energy. Um, and, um, yeah. Now, if you are, Aries, if you are the empress here, you're also working on putting down this ego battle because as I said, if you are isolating yourself because you're aware of how your thoughts affect your reality, you are in the absolute serious, I mean like serious process of letting go of this eye for an eye situation. Like somebody hurt you and now you're going to hurt them back because you feel slighted. That's literally what Five of Swords energy is on, on certain pages. So, um, I mean, if we're talking about you, Aries, and you are the Empress here, you are the Divine Feminine, you are, you are tapping into your Divine Feminine power in order to bring compassion and unconditional love back into the situation, okay? Um, and also speaking to you, Divine Feminine, whether this is you, Aries, or this is the other person, whoever is in love with you sees you as the mother figure, the wife, the husband, if you're a man, the spouse that they have been always looking for. And they really do not want to let their ego get in the way of this situation anymore, okay? Moving forward, we have the seven of wands. So someone is putting down, putting down the defenses. That is excellent. And I'm really picking up, this is on both sides, both counterparts, whether this is, um, a situation that we're talking about here or another person, both counterparts to the situation we're discussing right now are laying down their defenses. And we have the five of pentacles in reverse. So they're laying down their defenses. Uh, however this resonates with you, just take it on. If it doesn't resonate with you, let it go. But defenses are being laid down because we are done with feeling left out in the cold, in, in the cold, we are done with feeling lack. Okay, we've got the five of pentacles and we've got the five of swords in reverse so far. So, change changes are abound here, guys. This is this is really fantastic. Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands, passion, fire, moving quickly. This is also a spiritual warrior card. I do feel like this is you, Aries. This is fire energy for the most part. This is you with, oh my God, look, yet another five. And I was wondering, is that five of wands gonna come out, come out because, the, because the five of swords and the five of wands have been coming out like they're freaking twins. Like they've been going hand in hand for a lot of us lately. But here we have the five of wands in reverse, laying down 
the uh, or letting go of the differing opinions. Too many cooks in the kitchen and not enough work to do. Letting go of all of that chatter from the peanut gallery. And you know how I like to bring up that peanut gallery. They've been coming up a lot lately. I want to explain that if some of you are wondering why there has been so much influence, an influx even of influence from who, what, who could be considered part of the peanut gallery, is because that would be darkness coming in and trying to push people off their course. Mm -hmm. But see here, Aries, you're not fooled by it anymore. You are finally taking up your own wand, your own wand, your own torch as a light bringer, light worker, um, spiritual warrior, even in whatever way you resonate with that. You're done letting people tell you what to do. You're done letting your ego drive the ship even. Yeah. Very, very good. I really like to see that. Next, we have the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Not about the drama. Okay. As... As Court, Courtney from um, A Mystical Moment likes to say, this is Queen B. And I totally agree. This is Queen B. And right now, Aries, you are Queen B. Why? Because you have all of this stuff changing around you. You have a message that is about to come into you or that you're about to send to someone. You're feeling a lot of you might be feeling fear. I'm just going to put it out there. You might be fearful. I know I, in my situation, how I resonate with Aries right now, I'm really fearful of what's coming for towards me only because of the past, this devil energy that has been associated with things in the past. So yeah, but I'm absolutely employing or doing my best. I'm going to be honest, doing my best to employ the queen of swords energy because I don't want the drama and neither do you Aries. Neither does this person or whatever is coming towards you. If this is how it's resonating with you, this person doesn't want the drama either. All right. They've cut out all the bullshit or they're in the process of cutting out the bullshit so that they can, can be truthful and be honest and authentic and just do what it is they've been wanting to do the whole time. The page of cups in reverse. So what this is saying to me is queen bee ain't putting up with no half-assed offers, all right? You either come forward and you come correct or this shit ain't happening. Now, that's either advice for you, Aries. If you need to, if you need to step out and start talking to somebody, start making an offer, don't, don't come up with some, with some bullshit excuse like, or some, 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 some like half-assed, uh, no. You either come forward with the whole truth or you get nothing. You get cut right back out and you're back to square one. You got to start all over because Queen B ain't having it. This is either you, Aries, or this is either the person that's coming towards you or the whatever is coming towards you. If it's not coming towards you and it's not coming correct, ain't having it. And to be quite honest, with what I'm picking up here with the, the Seven of Swords and the Devil Energy from the past or maybe even the present, if that's resonating with you as well, you have every right to take this stance every right or they have every right to take this stance with you Aries yeah all right next we have oh look at that the ten of cups ultimate fulfillment emotionally and I don't want to say too much I really want to get into the next card here ah the four of pentacles someone is holding on to this connection for dear life Okay, and when I'm seeing the four of pentacles here, I'm not picking up anything that's negative. What I'm picking up on is, okay, well, I guess it could be negative in a sense. Um, it could be obsessive, a little bit obsessive, but I'm only picking up a very, very small twinge of potential obsessiveness. And if there is any obsessiveness coming through for you or, the, or whoever else we're talking about, Aries, it's mainly because they see the value in this connection or you see the value in this connection and you're holding on for to it for dear life and this could very well i know this is the four of pentacles is is um is material is the is the physical world but i'm also picking up on an energetic level holding on to this connection for i keep hearing that so i'm going to keep saying it for dear life because you you or they don't want to let this get away from them again all right i'm also picking up stability Solid knowledge, solid conscious awareness of what this connection is. All right? Again, take that as it resonates with you. It could be you, Aries, or it could be the other person. I know personally, I, I am very aware. I am very aware in, in my personal uh, uh, situation, I'm very aware of what this connection is. 
and I don't want to let go of it either, but I'm still afraid. I'm going to be very honest with you, guys. Fear is real, okay? Unfortunately, dep well, depending on how you look at it, it's not really real, but it's a, it's a real factor in our lives, okay? It is something that could potentially hold, potentially hold us back. So I'm not going to sit here uh, like all high up on the horse talking about I never feel fear. Of course I feel fear. I'm fucking human, <laughs> all right? But in my situation, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but I know I don't want to let go of this, so I'm not going to. <laughs> in, in other situations, and, and if you look at it in a different way, I can't, but hey, that's a, that's a topic for another situation. Next, we have the Eight of Cups. Walking away, and this is, I'm already picking up that this is walking away from the past. Finally allowing yourself to leave the past behind you and to move forward with... The Hermit in Reverse. Okay. All right. Um, Aries, some of you, or again, if this is if this is the other person, and maybe if you're if you're cross watching for an Aries, um, or Aries, if this is the, if we're still talking about someone else in your life, um, the Hermit, <laughs> the Hermit can mean the Virgo card. So maybe there's a Virgo. Yeah, the Hermit is the Virgo card. So maybe there's a Virgo in your life. All right, let me get into this then. Since I did it this way, let me be fair. We also have the devil, which could, which is, which could symbolize Capricorn. What else? That's it for now. But um, 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 whoever we're talking about here, either you Aries or uh, somebody else, and I do feel like there's this is a lot of Aries energy coming through in the Hermit because uh, let me tell you, even though it was your birthday, <laughs> even if we just got out of your birthday season. Aries season was really rough for me and for a lot of people. Um, we are now in Taurus season, but um, either way, however this resonates with you, somebody is walking away. Somebody is coming out of a dark night of the soul, is what I just heard, um, that sent them into hermit mode to try and iron things out. And they've gotten a lot of the clarity that they were looking for, if not all of the clarity they were looking for. And now they're moving forward. They're walking forward in their life. This is not walking away from you per se. I mean, it could be. Anything is possible. But what I'm really picking up here is this is, this is almost like, now this is either you or this is the person that we're talking about. This is almost like walking towards you or you walking towards them leaving all of these cups behind that were not fulfilling um, in some cases in other cases this could be leaving the past these full cups of all of these experiences in the past behind you and walking towards this person again my attention was just drawn to this feminine figure at the very back of the card with a torch i literally as i was saying that i was seeing someone walking Hold, is she Yes, she's holding this. Okay, so the person walking away from these cups is holding a torch. And it looks like she's walking towards someone else who is holding a torch. May, uh, a man and a woman, male and female. Okay, you can see them on opposite sides of the cards in the very back right there. So someone is walking towards someone else that is, abs that is actively holding their own torch. Okay, now if we're talking about what's known as a twin flame relationship. And I am really considering or redefining how I, um, how I name that because, you know, twin flames have become kind of a buzzword and it's, it's kind of getting overused, blah, blah, blah. It's a thing, but whatever. Um, if this is how we understand it right now, so this is how I'm going to refer to it. If like, say we're talking about a twin flame situation, Either your twin is walking towards you as you hold your torch, Aries, or you, Aries, are walking towards them as they hold their torch, okay? And this is very much uh, a person who is holding their to uh, a torch, not just for the relationship anymore, which was a pretty heavy thing for a while. Um, now it's more, yes, they're holding a torch for the, for the relationship, but that's just because the relationship and the journey go hand in hand. Right now, this person is holding that torch, whether it be you or some, or the other person we're referring to, um, whoever is holding this torch is holding it from a place of independence, standing in their true authenticity, standing in their knowledge of themselves and who they are in the world and what they have to bring to the world and showing up and not letting anyone put their fire out, which is actually helping you or them move towards you or you move towards them because they are 
shining their true and full light in their power. They are very much in their power, or you are very much in the, your power with the Queen of Swords, not trying to take any shit. Not giving to... Um, oh, this is also talking about this combination with the Queen of Swords and the, uh, the Page of Cups in reverse. It's talking about no longer giving to situations that are not, um, one, ready to give back to you, but two, not mature in some way. Okay, we're not playing these. We're not playing these emotional mind games anymore. Of, of oh, oh, I'm gonna flirt with you. Ha ha ha! It's gonna be cute, cute, cute. But then when we, when, it, when things get serious, I'm gonna disappear on you. Eh, nope, not even giving into that energy anymore. Okay, which is allowing this person or you to step in, to step up, grow some balls. Okay, and start making some serious moves in a direction that the both of you have been wanting to go in for a long time now. All right? It's just that someone wasn't ready for it. But they're getting there. They're almost there. They're walking towards this. Or you're walking towards this, okay? Finally, Aries, we have, ah, ooh, the Princess of Swords, or the Page of Swords with the Three of Wands. All right. So, yes. Yes. This is absolutely, um, uh, someone is watching you, Aries, or you are watching someone else. But... This is happening because whoever we're talking about here, whether it be you, Aries, or the other person, they're trying, they're, 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 they're moving, okay? They're trying to piece together. They've made their decision, and now they're putting the plan into action to get the things that they want, to, to, to act upon the decision that they've made. And it's passionate. It's fiery. It's spiritually guided here with wands. This is, this is passion and fire, okay? So this could be you, Aries. Uh, most likely is you with the fire energy going on. Um, but with the Page of Swords, it's like spying, okay? But spying in the sense of gathering intelligence in order to move forward as effectively as possible. Because don't forget, we've got the Queen of Swords here. And she is not taking any offers from no pages, okay? Now, I don't want anyone to get offended. I'm not trying to... I am, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but this Queen of Swords ain't taking no shit from no page. Understood? <laughs> she is literally saying that, okay? That's why it came through that way. And as a result, good. We've got someone that's stepping up and be like, ooh, uh-oh, time to step up the game, y'all. Okay? But Aries, you are waiting for your ship to come in. If we're talking about the Divine Feminine here, who is waiting for someone to come through... You're keeping an eye out too, okay? You're watching. You know who they are. You're watching them from a distance, yes. Maybe you want to watch them, but you're not, you're not allowing yourself to. That's perfectly fine. It could be triggering. And if it's triggering, I would, I would advise you not to watch. But you're waiting for your ship to come in and your eyes are open, all right? So if you're standing in this position, this is another iteration of the Queen of Swords. You've got, the Queen has got her page out there keeping surveillance, checking out who's coming forward and, and trying to decipher doing and, and, and deciphering their intentions. Do, does this page even let this person come forward to even lay eyes on the Queen, let alone uh, share words with her, right? All right, Aries. There you have it. That is your reading here for the first half of May. I thank you guys so much for joining me. All right, guys, much love to you, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the second half of May. Take care. Bye.